Hey, what's up you nation of whiners? Chief Whiner here. Don't think that this is new to me. I've been a chronic malcontent for years. But the funniest thing about Phil Graham complaining that we're a nation of whiners is that he was whining about becoming a nation of whiners. <laughs> here is a bank vice president, okay? This is a bank vice president. Vice President of UBS Investment Services. Okay, so let's just pull up our little dossier on Mr. Graham, the former senator from Texas, I believe. Yes, from Texas. Don't mess with Texas. Oh, don't mess with Texas. This has been one of the stupidest weeks of my life. But anyway, Phil Graham used to be a senator. Why am I getting that message? You know, I like Vista, but it's pissing me off. Anyway, stop it! All right. All right. He said, you've heard of mental depression. This is a mental recession. We have sort of become a nation of whiners. You just hear this constant whining as he's whining about it. Complaining about a loss of competitiveness, America in decline. Phil baby. I know that in your ivory tower existence as a bank vice president, you don't quite get it, so let me help you, okay? When people say America in decline and lack of competitiveness and, and uh, recession, recession, let's see, where do we start? Do we start with the gas prices? Maybe. Uh, they're ungodly and now every time I get into my car I'm tense and stressed because I'm burning gas I'm burning gas I'm burning gas even if I'm going to work I'm saying I'm burning gas I'm burning gas I'm burning gas I've got this going on it's not good okay then he said attempting to clarify his statement he had used the word whiners to describe the nation's politicians rather than the public, stating the whiners are the leaders. But in another interview, Graham stated, I'm not going to retract any of it. Every word I said was true. Okay, the best part is that he was whining about a nation of whiners. That's, you know, irony is so ironic. Let's see. As a uh, vice president at UBS Investment Bank. He's a business group vice chairman. And they are appointed to support the businesses in their relationships with key clients. They strongly contribute to the success of UBS and work closely together with members of the GMB. Now, interestingly enough, this last week on July 8th, on UBS's website, Got it? UBS's website under their investor news. They had this story, July 8th. UBS significantly expands Middle East operations to accelerate growth. UBS to set up operations in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. UBS selects CEO for UBS Saudi Arabia. UBS applies for license to operate in Qatar. And UBS expands investment banking division which is Phil's division, and equity research coverage in the region. Wow! Okay, so that's really strangely impressive and uh, just as scary as everything else that was happening this week. Yes, he's 65 years old, which is fine. I have no problem with 65 year olds per se. I just have problems with clueless people in general. And frankly, I want to see this. I want to see Phil Graham at a gas station by one of the gas station signs that lists for whatever a gallon. And I want to see him do the happy dance. Happy, 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 happy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know why he's happy? <laughs> because compared to what the gas is going to cost in about six months, this is low. You know, 
It's the clueless that get us in trouble. Not the whiners. The whiners happen to be awake. Now, I found it was interesting in Phil Graham's history that um, in 1984, when Graham had switched from Democrat to Republican, yes, he switched from Democrat to Republican in the 80s, in 1983. He hired, guess who, to help him defeat a Democrat in the race for U.S. Senate. Guess. Three guesses. Oh, copyright infringement? Uh-oh. Anyway, uh, video will be pulled. Hmm. Okay. He hired Karl Rove to help him win that race. Karl Rove, yes, the one who's um, been subpoenaed to appear before Congress, and yet he not in the mood. <laughs> Just not going to show up. If you or I didn't show up, we'd be in jail now. Is Karl Rove in jail now? No. Who's going to go and arrest him or any of the other people that have been subpoenaed to talk in front of Congress about certain matters that were not done right? He walks scot-free because he's not in the mood to show up. Only if you're on the Bush team will that work, by the way. So don't you try it. If you're subpoenaed for something and you tell them you're not in the mood to show up, no, no, don't try it. Only members of the Bush team can get away with this. Nobody else. You see, there's double standard, two different sets of rules for different sets of people, the Bush people and the rest of us. So I wouldn't recommend you try that tactic if you're subpoenaed for anything. No, no, that would be bad for you.